Hey guys, so I'm a big fan of honesty and transparency. I like to keep it real. And when I started writing my book, I was a little naive to how the whole process was gonna go down. But I'm done with that book. And I'm older and wiser and jaded. There was a lot of stuff that people should have told me, but they didn't, cause they're dicks. For everyone out there who's writing a book, I'm here to set the record straight. I'm gonna tell you all the crap that no one tells you about writing a book. And there's some crap that you should know. So here we go. Number one, writing the book is the easy part. Okay, so this isn't so much a thing that no one tells you, it's more a thing that people lie about. You'll be working on your book and you'll be totally frustrated about something and someone will undoubtedly tell you, don't worry, writing the book is the hard part. Once you're done, it gets so much easier. That is bullshit. The writing is the easy part. It is so the easy part. I mean, that's why you became a writer. You enjoy writing. You're good at writing. But after the writing, there's the editing, there's the reviewing, there's the marketing, there's the business shit. All of that sucks. And the whole time that you're doing it, you'll be thinking, I wish I was writing right now. So writers, while you're working, cherish that time. Every bump in the road, every bout of writer's block, welcome it. Because I guarantee it's not nearly as painful as what's gonna come next. Number two, every piece of criticism you receive is gonna be infuriating. It doesn't matter how minor or inconsequential it may be. If one person says one less than positive thing about your book, you're gonna feel a rage begin to brew within you. Just stifle it down, like you do with all your feelings. I could have someone rave about my book, just gush endlessly. And then maybe slip in a line like, yeah, it was a bit wordy here and there, but overall, what a masterpiece. Yeah, I didn't hear the masterpiece part. A bit wordy, you say? In that moment, the Sicilian inside of me is just swinging a baseball bat, ready to smash in some kneecaps. Some people have an inner goddess, I have an inner Sicilian mobster. Word of advice, when this happens, just smile and nod. If you can form words, say thanks for the feedback. And make sure that person is a safe distance away from you before you completely overreact to their benign piece of criticism. Number three, you're never gonna believe the compliments. This really sucks because here you are obsessing over the criticism, and then when someone compliments you, you're like, are you sure? At first when people compliment your writing, it's gonna feel awesome. And after the awesome fades, you're gonna start to wonder, is this person just being nice to me? You'll start to develop all these paranoid assumptions. That girl is totally talking shit about my book with her friends. That guy is just trying to get in my pants. And you know, some people probably are just trying to be nice. But not everyone. I mean, I've had a lot of beta readers, and all of them enjoyed my book. But I'm skeptical. Even though, just logically speaking, from a completely mathematical point of view, it is statistically improbable that they're all lying to me, there is still a part of my brain that's fairly convinced they're all full of shit. Number four, maintaining relationships with non-writers is gonna get hard, because people who don't write don't get it. Your book is gonna consume your life and all of your free time, and your friends who are secretaries bankers or strippers, they're not gonna understand your unhealthy obsession. Because at some point in the day, their job is done. They clock out, they go home, they have a beer and relax. We don't relax, we're always on the clock. Now I have found some exceptions to the rule, namely other creative folk. Musicians, designers, artists, but regular people with their nine to five, they're eventually gonna look at you like you're crazy. And that's because you are crazy. It's okay, I am too. Number five you're gonna learn that there is such a thing as stupid questions. Remember all those non-writers you're gonna have a hard time relating to? They're gonna be curious about your book writing thing and they're gonna ask some really dumb questions. Now in their defense, it's not their fault. They just don't know about this kind of stuff. But to you, they're gonna sound like idiots. Someone's gonna say to you, hey, what's up? And you're gonna be like, oh, nothing much. Just working on chapter five. I'm having a really hard time with it. It's just not as impactful as I wanted. And they're gonna say, why don't you just delete it? Delete the entire chapter. <sighs> sure, that won't disrupt the flow. That won't make the story completely disjointed. That won't just ruin everything. And these questions are gonna happen a lot. Why is editing so important? Why would your aliens have a different anatomy than humans? That doesn't make sense. Can't you just draw your book cover, like with paper and pencil? Do you really need a climax? This is why I listen to angry music. Ghost! 
Number six, you don't get to be an introvert forever. Don't pretend this doesn't apply to you, you know it does. Writers are like the shy version of performers. We've got a show we really want to put on, except we have crippling stage fright. So instead, we write it down, slip it under your door, and tell you to imagine it in your head. While we're curled up in the fetal position somewhere, avoiding human contact. But we don't get to do that forever. Eventually, we're gonna have to promote and market our work, and that means human interaction. So start practicing your I'm really happy to be talking to you face. Mine looks like this. It's a smile. I'm smiling because I'm happy. Just shoot me in the fucking face. Writing the book is the only part of the process where you get to be a shut-in. After that, it's time to put on your extrovert disguise and promote. And number seven, writing a book will be your proudest achievement in your entire life. I'm gonna toot my own horn here for a second. I'm a pretty accomplished person. I graduated high school with a 4.35 GPA. I was the co-star leading role of my second grade production of Cockadoodle Dandy. And I won the Give Up Your Swing to Another Student Award a record 13 times in preschool. I don't need that swing, you take the swing. What? None of those amazing achievements mean nearly as much to me as finishing my book. How many people can say they finished a book? Not many. Look, other people were out there partying, having a good time, and I was at home writing. Why did I do this again? But seriously, there's just something really special about being able to say that you wrote a book. Whether it succeeds or fails, there's a little piece of you that's out there living on forever. And that's pretty damn awesome. So that's it for today. Now you know, writing a book is very hard, but do it anyway. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I post videos on Wednesdays. Why am I talking so high? And as always, if there's something you'd like me to talk about in my next video, leave me a comment or tweet me at Jenna Moresi. Bye.